Wine tasting here at Vinopolis on the south bank of the Thames is coming to an end as the venue closes after 16 years of operation. Investing in wine, on the other hand, appears to have a much brighter future, according to research co-authored by Elroy Dimpson, a professor at Cambridge's Judge Business School. I met him around the corner from here at Beedale Wines on Borough Market to hear exactly why fine wine is having such a good run. Elroy, um, how does wine perform as an investment? Wine has been strikingly good compared to other collectibles. While it doesn't provide the financial dividend of putting one's money into the stock market, it has performed better than gold uh, or artworks or postage stamps or musical instruments or government bonds or treasury bills or cash held in the bank. When we're talking about wine, are we talking about the kinds of bottles we've got around us now? Our research looked at investment quality wine, fine wines, Premier Cru Bordeaux. Uh, and if you have Premier Cru Bordeaux to sell in your wine shop, you wouldn't keep it here. So these are wines for drinking in the very near future. And they'll be wonderful to drink, but they're not the wines that we would think of as investment quality. So if people are thinking about investing and it's got a good return, what are the rules for investing in fine wine? Well, in our research, it became quite clear that uh, wines mature up to quite a long horizon. And you know a lot from the initial vintage to tell you whether it will be drinkable in 40 years' time or whether it will be drinkable in just a few years' time. So the rules of the road involve thinking about investment quality wines which will mature over a long period so they can be laid down in good condition uh, and then uh, drunk or uh, sold on if you wish to do that. After all these years of good returns, though, is there another risk that the bottom will fall out of the fine wine market? The bottom could fall out of any market. Uh, as a finance professor, what I would always tell people to do is to diversify, so not to put an excessive amount in one asset. But the upside with wine is that if the bottom does fall out of the market, you could always get out your corkscrew, open up the bottle, and console yourself with a glass of very fine wine. That sounds a very inviting prospect, Elroy. Thank you very much. Thank you.